Well, it is Tuesday night and uh, we already finished our vlog, but wanted to show you I'm having some Keto Chow Pistachio ice cream with a little bit of Keto Granola put in here. It's about uh, half a serving. I still gotta make my electrolytes. They're finally satisfied. I know, but I... <sighs> Did you get them? I did, like, but they're crying. Like, oh my gosh! Crazy people. They're over there acting like they have never eaten ever in life. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel, and I'm Joe, and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos yeah, and fighting. we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch and we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in these knuckleheads on all kinds of social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we struggle with our cats, you'll be alerted to it. Good morning. Good morning. It is like 6.18. I need to head out because I need gas, and then I have early morning prayer, and then I'm getting on a bus to go to a conference up in West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. um, usually we do a February conference, yep. but it's a sleepover. We usually go to the Tampa area. So at least I come back every day. Yeah. Are you yeah. happy about that? I, you look good in that jacket. It. I thought, do I have Joe's on? Because it it just doesn't fit anymore. I yeah, she was like, and it's well, a small. It's, it's, Thank I'm you, not, Jesus. I don't have a big shape in it. I'm like, that's a good thing. Right? That's a good thing. I'm I mean, tickled. I know that sounds weird, but, you know, there was a time where an extra large oh. gave you shape. Oh, absolutely. Right? And I'm not a good shape. No. And now you're wearing a small and you're like, it's saggy. Yeah. So, praise God. We're continuing to see momentum just... We keep eating the food we're supposed to eat and the things that are supposed to happen, happen. I mean, I wish... It was more exciting than that. I almost wish there were more steps, like so that we could have alternative steps to yes. doing the thing that we're supposed to do, right? I wish it was like, oh, well, and every second Friday, if you stand on your head, that's what things happen instead of eating what is right. But it just seems like eating what's right continuously for long spans of time, things happen. One day at a time, yeah. one step at a time, one bite at a time. Yeah. That's that's how we do this. So uh, this morning we're having a pot of coffee. This has a scoop of chocolate toffee keto chow in it. Yum. And two egg yolks. I just I've been saving the yolks All from yolks making aside. the protein sparing bread. Okay. And this way I'm not like the dog, good morning, gets a couple of the yolks. Speaking of top. The chickens oh get a couple of the yolks. Gracious, we need to take and ourselves out of the then equation. I save the rest of the yolks, and I've been putting them like in coffee and things like that, and uh, it it's really good. You I know, I was like, is she playing a drum? But it's her no, tail. she's just excited. I did figure so that that's our coffee, and since it's really early, I've got you Aww. a keto chow there. It's an Thank Irish you. cream. I appreciate that and to take with me. That's a great way for you to get your day started because you don't know what you're gonna be able to eat while you're on the road. I have no idea. I know and you're not coming home till after nine. Exactly. So I know that I'm gonna learn some new things. I know I'm gonna make some new friends, and I know that I'm gonna have some good fellowship. But I don't know what I'm gonna eat. But so that's okay. Right. Right. Like that's a lot of good things that I do know and I can be confident in. And the other stuff I could either fast. I'm sure there's something that I can make work. I actually always take with me like a fork and knife because I never know when I need to turn something that people are putting out as a sandwich right. into just a salad. a salad. So I can do that if I have a fork and knife with me and uh, I don't have to take a bunch of accoutrement. Right. But, but that's something I can prepare ahead. Yeah. So for dinner today, we're going to have meat layer lasagna. And I didn't make this today. We actually prepared this back in December. So on Christmas, 
We made meat layer lasagna, but I made two of them. One we ate on Christmas Day, and the other one I sealed up and I put in the freezer knowing that we were going to be doing beef, butter, bacon, and egg come January. So it's just been sitting there, and this is a great meal prep. So you can make it a long time in advance and go ahead and stick it in the freezer. I recommend like vacuum sealing it so that you don't get a bunch of freezer burn, or you can make it at the beginning of the week and it lasts you all week long. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link for it right up here. Uh, but basically what a meat layer lasagna is, is it's a lasagna, but instead of using pasta noodles, what we're doing is we're using layers of lunch meat and provolone cheese. So I've got it in the Inova oven and we're just warming it up. I had it at 170 degrees. Rachel should be home in a couple of hours. Uh, so by the time she gets home, it'll be perfectly warm. So it is a rainy day here in South Florida. Uh, all of a sudden, we've had a huge temperature change. Yesterday, it was in the 80s, and today, it's like 67 degrees, and it's been rainy and drizzly all day long. So instead of cutting grass, I've spent the day working on taxes, working on videos, trying to come up with some new recipe ideas, and uh, now I'm going to enjoy some electrolytes. So I've got a bottle of seltzer water here that I made in my soda stream, and I'm going to do the strawberry lemonade relight. So all I do is I take my Redmond, and you can do this with Element too. I pour it in here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quickly get the cap on because as that drops down and dissolves, it's gonna get super, super fizzy. We're gonna let this settle for, I don't know, like 30 seconds to a minute, and then we can slowly open it up. If you open it up too quickly and too uh, early, you will get a big explosion. So you wanna let all that like salt and everything drop down but it really completely changes the flavor of the Redmond. A lot of people talk about they don't like the salty taste. If you add it to fizzy water, it completely changes the taste. It's like drinking like, you know, a Zip Fizz or something like that. I really like it this way. And it's pretty much the only way I drink my electrolytes now, unless I'm out on the road and I don't have access to seltzer water. So it's seven o'clock and it turns out Rachel is not gonna be home for another two or three hours. She ended up eating up at the conference. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and what I'm having is one piece of the meat layer lasagna. And then what I did is I broke the rest up into pieces. So there's one piece in here, and there's a piece in here, and there's a couple pieces in here, and there's a couple pieces in here. And we're just gonna go ahead and put all of this into the refrigerator, and it's ready to go, and we can eat it throughout the week. Now I did wanna mention, we got these glass, like they're kind of like lock and lock containers, but it's some other brand. I think it's like the Snapware brand. Uh, we bought them at BJ's and it was a great deal. It was like $25, you got a whole bunch of them. And they're great for doing meal preps because we don't like using plastic. You know, plastic is nice to store certain things, but when it comes to something like with tomato sauce, like a meat layer lasagna, that tomato sauce tends to etch and then discolor all of the plastic and it looks disgusting. And then you don't wanna reheat it in any way because when you reheat, you're getting all those phytoestrogens back into your food. So the only downside of glasses, you can't like stack them up in the cabinet as easily as you can like the plastic ones, but I still like these a lot better. Good morning. Good morning. It is like 6.50 in the morning and it's day two of my conference. I haven't been to sleep yet. I know. I have been so worried that I would sleep through my alarm that I haven't slept really well for the last two nights, honestly. Well, you came home. We were talking about the conference and then started watching TV. And because I was watching TV, you were getting into what I was watching. Right. So you couldn't go to sleep. So I finally was like, I have to turn off the TV so that you can go to bed, yeah. but I was wide awake. So I just went back out on the computer and started working, and I was wide awake for two reasons. Number one, I didn't eat until almost 9.30 at night because I was so wrapped up in my work, and I thought you were gonna be home earlier because I had seen a text in the church group text saying like, meet at the bus. And, and we I, were meeting at the bus to, to go, go to, to dinner. dinner. And I thought that was you guys coming home. But then, as I was working on taxes, and I started going through my bank statement going, did I miss anything, like when we went to Kentucky and stuff, I came across that somebody, and this has got to be an inside job. Right. 
somebody got my debit card, which we don't use for anything. That's the really weird thing. Like we use credit cards, we don't use our debit cards. Okay, well, and I've long been doing that because I'm always like afraid that if you have to dispute a charge, it will be more challenging with your bank account. Yeah. I've had a, a bad experience in the past. So like we never use our debit card as a Fortunately, card. we, I mean, we have, we use Citibank. Yeah. And I've been a Citibank customer for years and years and they are really good about this. Mm. But so somebody got my credit card, but the only fraudulent charge. Thank the Lord. Was Panera Bread. Which is kind of funny. In Maryland. Every single day and sometimes two and three and four times in the day for 60 and 70 dollars. And again, it's very weird because we went down everything on my account and there was no other fraudulent charge. It's literally being used fraudulently in one single restaurant, single Panera Bread in Maryland. But every day. For the amount in just 15 days of $1,300. And I got on the phone with Citibank and they were immediately like, no problem, we're gonna dispute it. We just need you to agree that if we can catch this person that you will cooperate with the police. I hope they do. And I was like, absolutely, because I haven't been in Maryland in years. Even when we drove to New York last year, we didn't drive through Maryland. Isn't we went around hilarious? Maryland, right? Oh my goodness. And so, yeah, so th that was my night. So I just never went to bed. I'm, I'm ready to go to bed now. So here's the thing, you you barely ate yesterday probably. I did not eat, I ate a piece of lasagna at like 9.30 at night. But we know don't get on the scale. Cause if you haven't slept, it's not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It's just not gonna be good. It doesn't matter if you didn't eat anything the night before or anything, but like that stress, it's gonna show up on the scale. And I did not get on the scale either because I feel like the same thing. I've been very like into the conference. It's been very, very interesting. It's always interesting to visit some other place that's doing what you do to see how they do it. Right. You know, and I think that that's just such a cool opportunity. It's a cool opportunity to meet new people and, and try to discover how can we serve people better? Right. How can we love people harder? How can we be more intentional when we spend time with other human beings on this earth? And I love the fact that my everyday job is something that I use in in all walks of life, right? right? Like it doesn't matter if I'm inside of a church or not. I want to know how do I serve people more? How do I let them know how much they mean to me? So I love these opportunities. It's so fun. But on the other side of a conference. What did you eat? Is what do you eat? What do you eat? Because just as I suspected, the love notes of the conference are wrapped in sweet wrappers, hanging in baskets. You're literally surrounded by food and you're also surrounded by a lot of grab and go options that are bars of some sort that say they're there to fuel you, replace a meal, give you some energy. We have a bunch of those. They're not keto ones though. You don't want to take a keto brick? Well, I mean, we can take a keto brick, but that is not what is out. What is out to be offered to people are all super carby, and we're talking 45, 55 total carbs in like a tiny little bar. So they're energy bars. And then also the healthy option is fruit. Fruit everywhere. Baskets of apples, oranges, bananas, just everywhere. I was looking for some almonds or something like that, just nuts of even, you know, and I would say, hey, I'll treat myself to, you know, an individual packet of nuts while I'm here, but that's not out. It's mostly just fruit if you want a healthy option, or there are like gluten-free, but still high carb, high sugar right. options. So for lunch, we had Chick-fil-A was like the offering. And it, it's nice because you know, it's a pre-packaged thing that you could have hundreds of these boxes out and ready to go. So I totally understand why you would want it to be catered right. by like this grab and go option. And thankfully my pastor's wife, who's like, it's just such a blessing. And she knows that we have dietary restrictions. 
did the very best that she could and checked the box that I'm gluten free. Right. So at least I was able to go to they get got, like grilled a salad option with grilled chicken that was not breaded. So I really appreciated that. It was a salad that was, um, it was just a little bit of grilled chicken. It um, had just lettuce and then there was strawberries and apples in it. So I took out the apples. It was funny because I was putting them on my plate and somebody was like, hey, can I have your apples out of your salad? I was like, well, sure. Um, and then I had strawberries and it's been a while since I've had strawberries. I think we've had strawberries like one time in four years. And it was amazing because it was like, I think throughout the entire salad, there was probably three strawberries because they're cut so up. So what you're actually supposed to eat. So it was a serving and I'll tell you, it was such a flavorful moment. I mean, you never know when you get strawberries, are they gonna be like, they look pretty, but they're super right. sour. But these were really nice, they were in good shape. And it was a true treat on the road because I'm not used to having them. It wasn't, it's not something I would order all the time. And I was not super thrilled by like the little tiny bit of, of chicken, but they did have uh, a ground up almonds kind of topping so I put a bag of that on there and then where we happened to be eating had put out like chips and salsa and guacamole for this one little vignette so I just took some of the guacamole and and topped my salad instead of using the dressing because both of the dressings that were offered had a tremendous amount of total carbs for a little tiny pouch wow so for um the evening for uh dinner we went to Rocco's Tacos so it was kind of a tough thing because every every single option was like trying to come with a side of beans and rice and all of that sort of stuff. And I'm not trying to make a big deal that I have special needs that the other 14 people with me don't require. Right. So I'm not trying to like make it difficult for them. So my best option was to get uh, a salad that had a ground beef in a hot sauce. Um, on top of just salad greens um, but it happened to come in one of those like fried bowls right you know where it's like a tortilla bowl so I asked the um, waiter can you just bring me this salad but don't give me the bowl the bowl and then when he brought it out he brought it with a bowl and so um, Usually I'd be like, well, I'm I'm just going to deal with it. But I thought it's going to look more weirder if I like turn out this thing like a right. bucket. And then I, I'm just making a big deal. So I said, sir, I am so sorry. Would you mind just like taking it back to the kitchen, dumping it out onto my plate and, and bringing it back out? Well, here's the thing. is Because I did request it. If you would have like celiac or something like that. It would that, have been a problem. That would have been a problem. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was nice that you asked, but... Sometimes we have to be a little bit stricter when we talk to our waiters and our waitresses in a nice, lovingly way, saying yeah. like, hey, I have an allergy. And he said, hey, I'm sorry. I have problems with sugar and stuff like that. But then we don't end up in that situation. It was a big table. It was a lot of orders at once. I right. totally get that. And then it was really nice. I felt very um, just like supported by a coworker, Matt, who said to me, don't worry about sending that back. I heard you request it without this bowl. So like, you're good. Yeah. And I just thought, well, that's really nice of him to say, you know, that's like, okay, I understand you're sending something back, but, but we don't think you're a <laughs> crazy person, you know, which was nice. So breakfast we have left of it is, um, it was six eggs, but four of them were the little tiny green ones. Mm -hmm. So it's really like, four to five eggs divided between the two of us, not six eggs a piece. And then it's chorizo. And what I do is I cut up the chorizo in a little pieces like this. And then I throw it on the blackstone as I just threw it across myself. I throw it on the blackstone, kind of heat it up, get it kind of some of that grease coming off of it, pour the eggs in and make a scramble. And this is the chorizo that we've got. And we got this at Costco, right? Yeah. I need to go back and look for it. We've been, we've loved chorizo it so much. is hard to find with clean ingredients. A lot of times, chorizo has sugar in it, it has MSG. So, again, the ingredients on this are pork, sea salt, and then less than 2% of starter culture, oregano, Spanish paprika, wine, natural flavoring, sodium erythromate, and sodium nitrate. 
And uh, a serving size is an ounce. There's supposed to be 12 servings in here. We've already had like 12 servings. So 90 calories per serving, seven grams of fat, seven grams of protein, and zero total carbohydrates. This stuff is really, 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 really good. It's really delicious and I'm so proud of us. In the past, we would be drive buying that all the time. Mm -hmm. And just because it's mostly meat, I don't need to be eating all day long, right? right? So the fact that we still have it in our house and haven't like completely finished that package, I'm pretty impressed with us. Well, this is pretty much what we've been doing with it. Yeah. And it's been really good. So you have a long drive. Mm -hmm. You have about an hour and a half. Oh, by the way, coffee, uh, two eggs, and a half a scoop of chocolate keto chow for the whole pot. Right. So it's about a quarter of a scoop of keto chow each and one egg. Rachel's got more. She's got her in her travel mug as well as her big mug here. So uh, what are you doing today? Hopefully cutting grass if it's, it's cold. not raining out. Um, yeah, I don't mind the chilliness, but we got to cut grass and then lacrosse season starts tomorrow. So I got a lacrosse game tomorrow two possibly on Saturday. I may or may not give them back because they're youth games and I don't really feel like going and working 10 year old games in the middle of a high school season. And then, but already next week, I've got four games. So uh, we're, we're back in the swing of it. Okay, so sometimes lunch is all about who you know. So I am hanging out with my friend Melissa and her brother is actually over a next generation ministry. So we snuck into the next gen lounge. Um, what is provided here for a gluten-free option is basically lettuce with a ton of fruit on it, a lot of orange slices, that sort of thing. So instead of picking that off, it was easier to just get a turkey sandwich and take the bread off of it. But thankfully, there's also our charcuterie tray. I never say that right. Charcuterie tray um, here in the Next Gen Lounge. So I'm just kind of making a little smorgasbord of my own here for lunch. So I'm super excited. So Rachel just got home from her conference and uh, I didn't know she had eaten lunch already. So I'm just going to have some meat layer lasagna. Gee, I like ghee. <sighs> that was a fun live stream. That was so much fun. And I worked up an appetite. Yeah. Well, you at, what time did you eat lunch? At like two o'clock? 12. Oh, 12 o'clock. So you haven't really, I mean, we had eggs this morning, but I'm sure that your lunch at the uh, church event was not like your normal, you know, one pound steak or something like that. I have to share this because this was hilarious. I think that people have really good intentions and restaurants too have really good intentions. They want to serve a wide variety of people, but they're really kind of confused on like how to do that. Right. <laughs> so, um... The closest thing I could get was whatever was the gluten-free offering today. And today was, uh, lunch was provided by 2J's, which is like a local sandwich shop, delicatessen, soup place. They have good pastrami. And so um, the gluten-free option, I opened it up and it was lettuce with four strawberries and an entire can, not a little dole cup, but a can of mandarin oranges in the middle of it. And so I thought, well, maybe I just got a bad one and like the next one box, cause there's like, you know, rows of boxes. I opened up the next lunch box and it was like, uh, no, same thing. So fortunately I knew somebody who was heading towards a charcuterie tray and some secret, you know, room. And I followed them to like some meat and cheeses today. Never gonna complain about that. No. So Rachel's having a couple of pieces of the protein sparing bread. This is, mm. so it's basically Maria's recipe, but we add in a scoop of chicken keto chow. And we cook an egg in it. This stuff here, my last bag, I need to order some more. This is my last bag of the savory chicken soup. We use a lot. I love this stuff. And then inside of each one is an egg. Because Rachel call, like eggs in a nest. I call it eggs in a nest. And I'm honestly full from that lasagna. And uh, so I'm just having a piece of bread with a bunch of butter on it because I know my fat's a little bit lower today and mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat one to one. So I made these today. I am attempting to get the skin on them and dry them. That sounds creepy. So the problem is it's humid here and it's always moist. You're supposed to put them in a cool, dry place. Well, I have the house at 73. Still not dry. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, 
the, the best humidity you're going to get in South Florida because you're in an air conditioner. So I'm hoping that I get that little bit of a skin on there. But Rachel tried one before. She's like, yeah. But I'm like, but we still have to put the erythritol and the citric acid on them because that'll make them like a Sour Patch kind of gummy. Who knew that if you don't complete the recipe, it's going to taste not right. Right. I mean, it makes sense. But, but it's interesting. I mean, in this whole thing, it. this is one package of the keto chow with the gelatin. Are you serious? It's one package. And, Whoa. you know, you're getting, when you're adding in five tablespoons of gelatin, mm -hmm. that is a lot of extra protein and collagen. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. Hopefully is they there will a come fat out right. In it? No, we didn't add any fat or anything. I, I may even That's try wild. doing them where you add a little bit of coconut oil because sometimes that'll like work with them too. Like a That's lot of nice. times you add oils to them. So I don't know. We're, we're going to mess with it. We'll see how they come out tomorrow. You're supposed to let them go overnight. So we'll see how that goes. Tabitha just got back from her walk and eating her food. She the got a bowl, brand new harness. The bowl slowed her down a little bit. No, you cannot have those. Hello, Tabitha. So, uh... Tomorrow, I don't know what's on our plate. I gotta figure out what we're gonna eat, but I have my first lacrosse game of the high school season. You ready? Tomorrow, I'm ready. Get I gotta that go take my out. test. That's what I have to do. Is I need to take my test still. But I have a couple weeks for that. But I, I think I'm gonna just try to do it tomorrow and get it over and done with. That's the policy. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.